hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button in today's video i'm going to be doing another halloween nail set and this is my inspiration right here i saw this nail set on instagram it's from a nail artist called v nailed it and she does some really great acrylic nails and sometimes polygel nails so when i saw it i knew i had to try to recreate it so i have these bat sequences that i got in one of my macart kits this kit was from their halloween nail kit from last year and i had to go through each compartment in order to get those bat sequences that was a lot of work because they were not noticeable um through the containers so i had to pour out each of those compartments in order to find those sequences and that was a lot of work because those bats are really small so i also have these purple bat sequences that i got in my mccart halloween kit for this year i actually got this kit for mccart's halloween kit for this month the collaboration with your nail lab and vanity val so yeah i wanted to use those larger sequences however they were too large to do the lazy girl method I actually tested them out with some full cover nail tips i did two versions of it just to make sure that i could do it however the purple bat sequences were a bit too large so when i tried to apply it to inside of the nail tip um you could see from the outside a bit of hollowness in certain areas that's where the sequence didn't lay flat inside of the full covered nail so i didn't like how that looked that's why i went um searching for smaller bat sequences and i had to go through all those compartments of the other sequence container just to get those bats so let's get into the nail tutorial i start by applying my base coat to my nails and then i cured for 30 seconds and these bat sequences i do not have enough of each I think I had about four or three of the black and then three of the purple bat sequences and then like two of the silver bat sequences so I had to mix it in order for it to look good and look cohesive because I didn't have enough of each color. So on the pinky nail I made sure to clean the inside of the pinky nail before starting the nail set. Now I am trying to figure out which colors I'm going to use on which nail and how I'm going to separate them because I don't have enough as I said before so I had to make sure that I separated them and it looked good while I was doing it. So starting on the pinky nail I applied a bead of base coat inside of the nail and then i am trying my best to get the nail sequence to lay flat this was the most difficult one to apply inside of the nail tip because this pinky nail is kind of narrow so it was very difficult for me to allow it to lay flat but eventually it worked and then i flash cured for about 10 seconds Then I went ahead and did another one of the bat sequence in the pinky nail. As you can see this one was giving me a little trouble as well because um, the dotting tool wasn't allowing it to lay flat. This pinky nail is narrow so there isn't a good surface for it to lay flat so that's why it took a while however i ended up flash curing it for about 10 to 15 seconds as well and then moving on i apply some of the base coat on top of the sequences in order to seal the sequences in and then i cured this for about 30 seconds could be a little less too now i'm going to be doing an ombre nail and I'm using my ACSTA polygel for my card. So I applied a bead of the ACSTA polygel to where I want my ombre to be. So I'm just going to measure it on my finger just to make sure that I like where the ombre is. I don't want the ombre too high on the nail or too low. I just want it at a certain 
position and then i distribute that poly gel to only that area i don't really need to go straight down in the nail i would recommend not to go to the cuticle area with this but if it happens it happens and then i ombre that into the bat sequences as best as i could then i cured that for 30 seconds next i did another layer and this step is optional but i think that it's necessary for some reason i can't explain why but i think it's necessary to get um that ombre area a little more opaque before applying the next level but however before applying the next layer but however i don't know if it's necessary well for me it is so yes i'm just going to ombre just to get that fade a little more opaque as you saw there i removed some of the poly gel because i didn't want it to go um to the nail bed and down to the cuticle area i already have enough there as it is and you, the reason why i say that is because when you apply too much poly gel to the cuticle area well to the nail bed area when you're doing the lazy girl method and you cure all those layers after a while when you apply the last layer to put it on your finger um the poly gel wouldn't really conform to your nail so the nail tip would kind of stick out it wouldn't um lay as nice as it could on the nail if that makes sense so now i cured that for 30 seconds and then moving on i am using my um mccart clear poly gel and i and i applied the clear poly gel to the tip area of the nail where my bad sequences are and then i am using my melody Susie purple um gel polish and i just place a bead of some of that and then try to swirl it however i did apply a bit too much of the purple gel polish so i had to remove that and start over so i apply another layer of the um clear poly gel and then placed two bead of the gel polish and swirl it to get the marble effect then i'm taking my poly gel brush and i'm just patting it in place just to smoothen the surface of the nail and i would recommend using a separate poly gel brush um, to pat the poly gel where the purple is where the purple gel polish is because you know you don't want to use the same poly gel with the purple gel polish to apply poly gel to your nails it will kind of ruin the design so anyway i cured that for 30 seconds now i'm placing a small bead of the acs the poly gel to the inside of the nail bed area and i'm just distributing that inside of that area right there and then when i'm ready i place it on my pinky nail and make sure to apply pressure ensuring that the nail is secure and whatever seeped out i made sure to clean around the cuticle area and also the underside of the nail to remove anything that's not supposed to be there and then i cured in my nail lamp for 30 seconds So this is how the nail is looking and I think it looks really good. So moving on to the ring nail, I am doing the whole nail with the sequence and marble nail. This nail isn't going to be an ombre nail. So I am just applying a small bead of the gel base coat and then I picked up one of the silver bat sequences and made sure to apply pressure with my dotting tool and I flash cured for about 5 to 10 seconds. I am using two of the silver um, bat sequences and one purple bat sequence and that's basically all I have that's why I'm using it like that I needed to use it like I needed to have a pattern in how I use it so the ring nail had the purple and silver and then the rest of the nails had the black and purple so I made sure to even it out as best as possible
Now I'm going to be applying my gel base coat to the ring nail to seal in the batch sequences. And then I cured for 10 to 15 seconds. Now I'm going to be applying um, my Macart Clear Poly Gel and I'm just distributing this Clear Poly Gel inside of the nail tip. Next, I am using my Melody Suzy gel polish and I just placed two dots of the gel polish inside of the nail tip and then I swirled it to get the marble effect. Next, I'm using my poly gel brush to flatten the poly gel and distribute it a little more since when I swirled it some of the poly gel became uneven so by using the poly gel brush to flatten the poly gel it allowed the poly gel to be a little flatter inside of the nail tip then I placed the nail tip onto my nail and cleaned up the excess around the cuticle area and then I cured for 30 seconds Now on to the middle nail, I am doing another ombre nail. So I applied a small bead, well that's not a small bead but I applied a bead of the gel base coat and then I placed one of the nail sequence inside of the nail. I actually think I removed this bead because it was a bit too big and it would have made the nail a bit messy so I start let's start again so I placed a small bead of the gel base coat inside of the nail tip and then I picked up one of the batch sequences and placed it inside of the nail tip applied pressure with my dotting tool and flash cured for about five to ten seconds then I did the same thing once again. Now I applied a base coat to seal in the bat sequences and cured for 10 to 15 seconds. Then I'm going to start my ombre. I always like to measure the nail on my natural nail to make sure that the ombre isn't too high on the nail or too low. So that's what I like to do most times. And then I applied a small bead of a siester and distributed that inside of the nail tip. And when I'm ready, I made sure to do the ombre by applying some pressure to the poly gel and just doing the fade. I really don't know how to explain it but you all can see what I'm doing. So when I'm satisfied with the ombre, I cured for 30 seconds and then I did another layer just to make the ombre area right there a bit more opaque and as I said before, I do not or well, I try my best not to apply the poly gel to um, most of the nail bed area, well around by the cuticle area there. I tried my best not to apply poly gel to that area at this step. So as you can see here, I'm trying to remove a bit of the poly gel because I only want it at the ombre area right there it's for the fade. The fade, the fade needed to be a little more opaque in my opinion. 
and this step is optional as i said before i just like to do a second layer of the ombre section and i cured that for 30 seconds could be less and then i applied a bead of the clear poly gel and distributed that at the tip area Next, I placed a few beads of the Melody Susie Purple Gel Polish and then I swirled it to get the marble effect. And when I'm satisfied, I used one of my poly gel brushes to pat the poly gel in place and make the nail a bit more flat. And this is how it looks. And I always make sure to show my other poly gel brush just so that you all know I'm using two poly gel brushes um, for this nail set. The first poly gel brush is to do the usual poly gel nails and then the second one is for the marble nails. So I cured that for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to be placing my last bead on this nail and this is the AC Esther poly gel at the nail bed area and I'm just distributing that at the nail bed area only of the nail tip. And then I placed the nail tip on my middle nail and then I made sure to clean around the cuticle area and then I cured for 30 seconds. So as you can see right there I was pointing at a glitter that was on the nail and that was because I didn't clean the inside of the nail tip like I usually do. I kind of forgot to do that and when i was finished with the whole nail i realized that there was a glitter in the nail and that is kind of annoying but i've learned my lesson so on the index nail as you can see i am cleaning the inside of the nail tip with rubbing alcohol and then i start with my bat nail sequence application so i applied the bat nail sequences to the nail then i placed um, a layer of gel base coat to seal in the bat sequences and cured for 30 seconds now i am applying a bead of the acs the poly gel to create my ombre nail And then I cured for 30 seconds. Next, I'm doing another layer of the ombre section just to make that area a little more opaque. Then I cured again for 30 seconds. Now I am applying a bead of the Macart Clear Poly Gel to the tip area and making sure to evenly distribute that at the tip area of the nail.
then i applied a few beads of the melody susie purple gel polish next i swirl it to get the marble effect and then i pat it in place with my poly gel brush to distribute the poly gel once again at the nail tip and i low-key made a kind of style with this index nail because the tip area of this index nail isn't marble as much as the rest of the nail so it's kind of like a little style i wished i could have thought about that before so that i could have done it with the rest of nails but i only thought about it right there so anyway i cured that for 30 seconds then i'm going in with my acester at the nail bed area Next, I placed the nail tip onto my index nail, applied pressure and cleaned the cuticle area and the underside of the nail and cured for 30 seconds. So this is how the nails are looking and I think they look really good. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So I do not have any more purple, silver or black bat sequences right now. And I have these other sequences that I do not think are bats. I do not know what they are, but they are not bats. They don't look the same as the ones I already have on my nail. This is what they look like. I do not know. It looks like a W. Then it looks like birds. But I do not know exactly what they look like. And I have no other nail sequence to use. So we are going to use it. So I am going to be doing my thumbnail with those nail sequences and i am going to be doing the whole nail with the marble so i'm just going to apply the nail sequences to my nail and i make sure to clean the inside of my nail tip first then i'm just going to apply the sequences to the nail tip i was checking to see if this color was actually a purple because because of the lighting it looked purple but then again it didn't look purple and i don't think it was purple because when i was finished with the nails it looked like it was a kind of reddish purple it wasn't like the rest of uh, uh, it wasn't like the rest of purple bat sequences that i used it was a different shade it looked like a different shade to me but it was already on my nail so what could i do and the main focus of these nails are the index middle ring and pinky nail no one really looks at the thumbnail like that so hopefully no one notices <laughs> so when i'm finished applying the nail sequences i made sure to apply the gel base coat and then i cured for 30 seconds now i'm going to be applying my clear poly gel to the thumbnail and then i evenly distributed that Next, I applied a few beads of the Melody Susie gel polish to the nail. Then I swirled it to get the marble effect. Then I'm using my poly gel brush to pat the poly gel in place to evenly distribute the poly gel again. And when I'm satisfied, I placed it on my thumbnail and cured for 30 seconds. Now I am just using rubbing alcohol to remove the tacky layer from the nails. And then I filed the nails off camera. So this is after filing of the nails. And I think they turned out really good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below now i am going to be top coating the nails
So while top coating the nails, I realized that the surface of the nails, it was a little rough and I didn't understand why that was happening. However, um, after a while, while I was um, top coating the nails, I realized that I didn't buff the surface of the nails. So that's why the nails were rough. I only filed the surface of the nails. So right here, I'm just buffing the surface of the nails. now let's top coat the nails once again so i am using my ravel nail top coat and i top coat all of the nails and cured for 30 seconds Now I'm just top coating the underside of the nails as well and cured for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to be using this pink gel polish from Madame Glam. So in the nail inspo, um, I noticed that she used some pink gel polish on the nail. So that's what I'm going to be using as well. So on the middle nail, I am doing a French outlined nail with the pink gel polish. So I'm doing that and curing for 30 seconds. And I did another layer because I think the first layer was a bit too light so I wanted the nail to be a little more opaque so I did another layer off camera and cured that for 30 seconds as well. Then I'm going to be drawing a line at the tip area across the middle nail and curing that for 30 seconds as well. Now on the ring nail, I'm doing a kind of drip nail. Then I cured that for 30 seconds and I did the same on my thumbnail. And guys, what do you think these nail sequences really are because they do not look like bats. So what are they? Let me know in the comments below if you all know what they are. And do they blend in with the rest of the nails? <laughs> Let me know that as well. <laughs> So this is after curing of the thumbnail, now I'm just going to be applying some more top coat onto the middle ring and thumbnail and then I cured that for 30 seconds.
so this is how the nails are looking now i'm just going to be applying some cuticle oil to rehydrate my skin and nails So this is the finished look and I think this nail set turned out really good. I had to put on a white sweater for y'all to see how beautiful it looks because um, it wasn't doing it any justice without it to me. So y'all get a clearer look at the nails like that. So I think it turned out really good. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. As soon as I saw V Nailed It post this on Instagram, I knew I had to recreate it. It was really nice and i think it turned out really good let me know if i did a good job or not so thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys